delicious. I'm really pleased to see how oil has, in creating her modern kitchen, kept the really important features of the original Regency dining room here, like this wonderful black marble from Anglesey, neoclassical chimney piece with stout columns, really robust statement of Regency taste. And on the other side of the room is a wonderful dresser with similar stout columns, almost certainly designed to match that chimney piece when the room was first built. And another thing I love about this dresser is it's got potatoes stored where once silver would have stood. I was sure that in the bookcase in the main hall there would be a section on tours through Wales. From the late 18th century onwards, the fashion to explore nature's wildness and seek out the picturesque influenced the creation of idealised naturalistic landscapes around country houses that evoked the compositions of great paintings. And here's a description in Roscoe's North Wales volume when he visited a nearby estate. I found myself on a track more full of beauty, at least of its kind, than I had ever traversed before. I was the only traveller upon this path, and no sound was heard to break the peculiar solitude of the place, except my own step. So you can see how emotive it was to be out there in this wilder landscape. This notion of the picturesque was certainly something that Wales gave to Britain, and possibly the rest of the world too. And it is also clear why this particular place appealed to Oriel's ancestor, that wealthy Liverpool merchant seeking the perfect location for his new country seat. I've been asked to get some carrots for the dinner party out of the garden. Where can I find them, Christine? Oh, this way. Got your spade, good. So how many vegetables do you grow out here? Quite a lot. But it's got too much for me now, and so somebody else does all the work, and I do all the bossing about. That's but quite a nice job. I don't think I boss them enough. Look at the weeds. It's terrible. Oh, I see. Oh, not dainty. bad. Not bad. Excellent. Thank you. How many more do you want? Tell oh, us a few all. more. There's quite a few of you. Nothing like having the guests uh, dig it. up your own dinner. I think I shall enjoy the food more for it. Thank you. Not to be forgotten. Not to be forgotten. <laughs> I mean. Thank you so much. It's rotten. It's rotten. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no sooner am I dismissed by the housekeeper than I'm summoned to attend her ladyship in the garden. Flowers and fruit have to be gathered in for this afternoon's harvest festival. It's lovely. Oh, really got you. <laughs> so how often do you do the flowers for the church? Well, I try and do Easter, Christmas, and Harvest Thanksgiving. But and do you enjoy it? Is it fun? Yes, I do. I love it. It's all probably great hours fun. of preparation for well, a moment's glory. <laughs> <laughs> and in Welshpool, Christine is meeting a man who knows just what she likes. Morning, Derek. Morning, Christine. Now then, have you got those big? You have got those big prawns in for me. Excellent. All fresh in this morning. You haven't got any what I call rude crabs, have you? Undressed. Oh, she loved it last week. It's a beauty. It is a beauty. Oh, she'll enjoy that. Thanks, Derek. See you next week. Bye. -bye. Bye. And for what we are soon to receive, we must give thanks. The village church was designed by the Victorian architect Sir George Gilbert Scott, who is perhaps better known for his St Pancras Station Hotel. So this church was built by your family? Well, not I can't not entirely. I think we gave the land for it. Yeah. And now to impress Oriel with my artistry in flower arranging. Well, I might need a bit more at the back, I think, just on the right. If you look here, do you see what I mean? There's a little bit of a hole there, isn't there? I see, yes. Nice. So very, nice. Thanks, very nice. Lovely range of colours and things. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? The family plot is in a private corner of the churchyard. And this is your That's my father, father who yeah. died in 1984. Yeah. And that's my mother there. When Mummy died, we put in a miniature bottle of gin and some cigarettes because yeah. she loved her martinis <laughs> and she brilliant. was a smoker all her life. And then I shall go here somewhere one day. It's a happy feeling to think one's going into here. And her mother is often in Oriel's thoughts. And this is darling Mummy. Oh, it's um, a lovely portrait, isn't it? Now, the reason why she's got her hands crossed across her tummy was that she was pregnant and I was the lump. Oh. 
Great. But she's a most wonderful woman, Mummy. Much loved by one and all. She's got a very strong character in her face, you can tell. Oh, yes, she you? has. But she had a great sense of humour and a great zest for life. And she was very, very kind and wonderful. And I still miss her madly. And there's a picture of yourself here. There is. When John and I got married, I said, oh, let's be painted together. And he said, what a good idea. His father said, oh, no, no, no. I want oil painted X dimension, Y dimension, and I'll pay for it. And the reason why I was needed to be painted the exact dimensions is I was put into the same frame as the ex-wife. <laughs> and then when, sadly, when John and I split up, John very generously gave me this portrait without the frame. And he's married again, but history doesn't relate whether his third wife is framed in the communal frame. Contemporary art makes a real splash in another part of the house. I think it's very sad in a house like this if one doesn't collect contemporary art. And Welsh art is, I think, rather undervalued at the moment, actually. And I've got to know quite a lot of the artists and got to like them. And I've wanted, I've admired their work, and slowly I've been collecting the little bits and bobs. So they're all Welsh painters? The Cuffin Williams up there, which I bought quite some years ago, and he obviously is a, an icon in, in Welsh art. It's quite interesting in a way that the modern art uh, should be located with the modern life bit of the house as well. It is a way that you've sort of added another layer of story and identity to the house. Well, it's been such fun. And so from the contemporary to the traditional. And I've just learnt that the Harvest Festival will be in Welsh. Hmm, interesting. Ah, well, just digon o amser i newid kin kinio. That's Welsh, but just time to change before dinner. Wish I wasn't having such trouble tying my own tie. Probably better to do it with my eyes closed. I have a secret weapon. It's a fake one, and if you mush it up... It looks almost real, I think. elegance and sophistication, just as you'd expect of this house. Got gazpacho soup here, set with gelatine to please her ladyship, because she doesn't like soup. And Derek's prawns, and that's the start of finished. And Christine's hard work was soon to disappear in a moment. This chicken with white wine sauce on. More Musiman than Mrs. Beaton. Veggies from the garden. Carrot puree in pastry cases, green bean bundles with bacon, and Duchess potatoes. I made an executive decision and made chocolate pudding because I don't like it. Tomorrow morning, there will be another feast laid out in here, the shoot breakfast. And a partridge shoot means an early start, should we ever get to sleep. Oh no, late for the shoot. Oh. I've missed the duck shooting, so I've got to join them for the partridge shooting. The shoot is a great social occasion for Bringwin's guests and for the locals who come to help out. But these days, it is more important to the 400 acre estate's ecology, its management and financial viability, than it is to tradition. Shooting has been part of your life. Very much. All it's your a, life. I was my father's main beater in North right. Wales. Gosh. I was sent through all the snipe bogs and yes. everything else. I wanted to go shooting already, say. So. <laughs> <laughs> little child. Oh. I used to struggle through. Were you given big klaxons or something? Or? No, I just stick and tell to walk. How important do you think shooting is to the, the life of all the farmers and landowners in this part of the world? I think it's a historic sport. Um, you know, man has been using a bow and arrow or shot and slings forever. I think it provides a lot of work now um, in a declining rural economy. 
with a struggle to make ends meet farming. It enhances the countryside if it's done sensibly. Mm. That is the shot I needed. <sighs> Before I packed my bag, the one question I wanted to ask Oriel was how she keeps Bringwin going, given the costs and hard work it demands. Well, it's a tough road, actually, and I've always maintained that I'm a custodian of this property, and I'm lucky to have inherited it, and I want it to be handed on to the next generation. I had to go out and get a job some years ago, and I'm the regional representative for Sotheby's. It also links in with other events that'll be here. We'll have to do weddings, and generally keep thinking of innovative, innovative things to do so it can be handed on to my son in the future in a reasonably good state. So there's a lot of hard work ahead. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of joy, but it's also a lot of hard work as well. Well, this weekend has more than lived up to expectation, and I feel that I've dipped into the atmosphere of Wales in a very special way by staying in this lovely Georgian house in this very spectacular landscape. And more than that, Oriel and Christine have been wonderfully hospitable and great fun. And because they love this house so much, it's very difficult not to feel the same. I've got you some, some partridges from the shoot, which oh, very, I thought you'd like to take home. Yes, indeed. Well, I shall, um, and I shall come and say goodbye to you at the door. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry that you're Thank going. Thank you so much. Me. It's been a tremendous weekend. Wonderful having Everyone's been very, very kind. It's such fun. Don't forget your coat, will you? No, it looks like I might need it, actually. Just, just put oh, well, your head over there. And uh, good luck with all those projects ahead. Be well, I hope you. so. And have a good journey. Will do. And come Thank again. you very much. So, well, I hope to. Lovely. Thank you.